Hello and welcome to the next Thursday Theory video on the classical mechanics. Today we will discuss about the reason why an object rotates. And the reason is torque. My name is Xerofon Karyophilis and today, like every Thursday, I post a video about a subject in physics that I learn in my journey into physics. If you are new to my channel and want to follow me in my journey into physics, if, even if you are a student or a professor or just a physics enthusiast, consider subscribing. You can watch the previous episode on classical mechanics in the links below in the description. As I already mentioned, today's episode is all about torque. I created a playlist for the rotational movement in which I will put this episode and the previous one about the moment of inertia. In this playlist I will also put everything about the rotational movement from theory to exercise for you to be able to watch everything about rotational movement easier. Torque. What is torque? Torque or else moment or else moment of force is rotational force. Just as linear force is a push or a pull, a torque can be thought of a twist to an object. Loosely speaking, torque is a measure of turning force on an object such as a bolt or a flywheel. For example, pushing or pulling the handle of a wrench connected to a nut or a bolt produces a torque, a turning force that loosens or tightens the nut or bolt. Mathematically, torque is defined as the cross product of the vector by which the force application point is offset relative to the fixed suspension point and the force vector which tends to produce the rotational motion. As you can see on the whiteboard, we have first the definition of torque, which is, as we said before, the cross product of the vector of distance and vector force. Next, we have the magnitude of the vector torque, which is the magnitude of distance multiplied by the magnitude of vector force multiplied by the sinus of the angle between those two vectors. And below these two equations we have an example. We have an example that will help us find out the direction of the torque because we know torque is a vector. So, let's find the direction of torque. In order to find torque's direction, we will use the right hand rule. But first, we need the vectors to start from the same point. Like the, we did here, in our example, the whiteboard. Here is the distance vector and the force vector starting from the same point. And F is the angle between them. Now we take our right palm and place it above the distance vector and we try to reach the vector of force from the quickest route. The quickest route in this example is to do this and not the other way. It's to do this kind of movement. Now our thumb points towards the camera and because the direction of torque is where our thumb is pointing to, it means that the direction of torque is towards our camera. There is a relationship between the net external torque and the angular acceleration and also the moment of inertia that we have seen in the previous episode. And it is the same form as Newton's second law of motion and it's sometimes called Newton's second law of motion for rotation. And the mathematical formula is as depicted on the whiteboard. And we have that the total external torque equals to the moment of inertia multiplied by the angular acceleration of the object. Guys, that's it for today and I really hope that you liked this video. If you did like this video, subscribe to my channel, share and like this video. You can also comment below in order to let me know whether you learned something like I did or whether you found this video helpful or not. 
follow me on Facebook, Twitter and also Google Plus for more content every week. Thank you for watching and see you in another episode of A Journey into Physics.